Well, still on security, the Nigerian army says there are no plans to reverse the Operation Positive Identification Initiative in the interest of the country. Chief of Army Staff, who was represented by the officer in charge of civil military affairs, Usman Mohammed, made this known on Thursday when he appeared before the House Committee on Army. Mohammed said the operation had been ongoing for several years and is aimed at tackling security challenges in the country. Chairman of the Committee, Honorable Abdurazak Namdas, and other lawmakers of the House of Rep were ex they expressed concerns that the military is adding to its own authority by taking over the role of the police and said the program is equal to going back to the era of military rule, which for them is dangerous in a democratic society. You don't notice any specific change. There is not as if uh, we are going to have increase in the number of troops on the road, no additional checkpoints, no roadblocks. It is all intelligence-led. And at the end of the day, uh, because we are extending it to other parts of the country, doesn't mean there is going to be any change. It's still going to be intelligence-led based on credible information and intelligence. Operation areas, the military will have some rights to do some of those things. If there is an operation going on in the Northeast and they feel that they have to identify certain individuals, we will not say it is wrong once it is within an operational scope. But our fear is that for you to make it a whole nationwide thing, where even the op there are no operations, then that becomes fearsome. That, that's our fear. That becomes the area that we say it's supposed to be for the police, for the migration and what have you. But like in the Northeast, it has been declared an area for insurgents and that if the military would like to do that, we wouldn't say it is no. But when you now extend it nationwide and you put it dead, then it becomes apprehensive, we become fearful, and that is why we will ask the military, uh, well, they are trying to do some of the things. On terms, in terms of identification, they should be cautious and wait until we take a decision on that and we get back to it.